so I could preach his message to bless my brothers and my sisters. Before I will go on, I would like to remind, uh, remind our uh, guys that this Saturday will be our men's gathering breakfast meeting. We have not decided yet where, but I hope after the service, all of us will uh, agree together so men could come together and pray and ask God to use all of us, especially in leading people to the name of Jesus Christ as their Savior. Amen. Amen. The, the reason why he saved us because God has a purpose in us. Amen. Yes. That we could be a soul, we could be the salt of the earth to the lives of so many people. You know, every, every single uh, second, minute, or hour, people are leaving this earth without even knowing the reality of Jesus Christ. I don't care if you are that poor, if you have the Lord, I think you got the everything that you wish for in your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So this coming Saturday, last uh, Saturday we, we don't have any Tagalog service. But this coming Saturday we'll resume our Tagalog service in the church. And please uh, keep on reminding yourself that you never lose anything when you put yourself in the midst of the presence of God and let us just pray that God will bless our congregation. Amen. Amen. If all of us will just do our part, we, you, would, you would be amazed how God is going to work in our lives. Amen. Amen. We will be having communion. I'll be trying my best to preach the, the, my message in uh, 25 to 30 minutes and after that we will have our communion. Maybe some of you got that book uh, that we gave out to the church like a month ago after uh, attending the, the Billion Souls Conference in, in Florida. And one, uh, one of the books that I was really caught my attention was the, the book named The Necessity of an Enemy. And I said, it's really necessary for us to have an enemy. And as the writer uh, wrote what was in the book, it really amazes me that enemy is necessary. We're not seeking, we're not looking, but just in case an enemy came along and tried to challenge us as believers. Instead of complaining, we got to fight our battles, amen. Yes, we can proclaim like that of Paul, I have fight a good fight of faith. He would strive to the best of his ability to overcome those obstacles of his life. You know in the Bible, uh, by the way, if you, if you keep on reading the Bible, it is amazes me that at one time in the book of Matthew chapter 16, this is about Peter. who confess the reality of Jesus Christ by saying, you are the Son of God, you are the Son of God, of the Most High God. Amen. And man, he, he really put up something from his heart of recognizing who Jesus was, yes. or is, in the particular, particular time. <coughs> and Jesus looked to Peter and said, Blessed art thou, <coughs> Peter, for revealing or confessing who I was, <coughs> or who I am at this time of your life. You can read that <coughs> in Matthew chapter 16. And after confessing the true identity of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Lord was beginning to say, you know, I will be going to the cross. They would put me to death. They will hang me in that particular wood. And Peter said, Lord, you don't have to do that. I'm paraphrasing what he had said from the book of Matthew. 
You don't have to go to the cross. We need you right here. <laughs> and it really amazes me how God, how the Lord Jesus Christ respond to Peter. Let me read from Book of Matthew chapter 16. You know, the, the Lord said to the disciples, Who do you say that I am? And Simon, Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed you are Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Down to the, to the, to the verses, As I have said that when Christ was telling the disciples that he would be going to the cross, Simon said, For it from me, Lord, that shall not happen to you. In a very like unusual way, the Lord addressed to Peter and said, down to the verses. In the book of Matthew chapter 16. And he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. For you are an offense to me. For you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. Are you not wondering how in the world the Lord would address to Peter as Satan? If you Read in Matthew chapter 26, this is about Judas. It amazes that Jesus Christ said to Judas in a very unusual way. Beginning from verse 27, when he was in, in the Garden of Gethsemane praying that God would give him the strength, The God, uh, the, uh, Judas was uh, with the group, the soldiers, and in, 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 in arresting Jesus Christ. Verse 47. And while he was still speaking, behold, Judas, one of the twelve, with a great multitude with, with swords and club, came from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now his betrayer had given them signs, saying, whom, so, whom, whomever I kiss is the one, seize him. And immediately went up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kiss him. And Jesus said to him, Friend, why have you come? And I've been wondering uh, these passages. Peter was called to be Satan. Judas was called to be a friend. I was trying to understand, uh, you know, what was behind this? How in the world that Christ addressed to Judas as a friend, whereas he called Peter to be Satan. You know, sometimes, my friend, that even your enemies can be your friend. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because without the doings of Judas, he would not be at the cross. At the, uh, at the downside of this verse, he would say that he was doing it in the fulfillment of the scriptures. So by the way, living a Christian life, enemy is necessary. Amen. Amen. So you could really unload the power of God through you. And you can show to this world that God is with you. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> you will be able to see that God's promises are happening <clears throat> in the reality of your living for Christ. <clears throat> that he said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Even to the very ends of the earth. <clears throat> I do not suggest that you have to look for an enemy for it for me. But just in case 
There is too much happenings in your life that we don't welcome. <coughs> we have financial crisis. We have marital problems. We have job problems or whatever. If those things are coming upon us, don't buckle. Amen. 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 <coughs> Try to fight it in the power of God. Amen. Because that enemy can propel you on the top. The lesson that I, I am trying to tell uh, to give you, my friends, that if you are in this situation, you will never be in a situation that you, you, you will lose your endeavor. Amen? Amen? There is no way to lose any given situation when, when you are in the Lord's sight. Amen. Yes. You see, we've been reading at the point of this pulpit, but we are, what? Winners. We recognize that if God is for us, who can be against us? Amen. If you're reading the book of Romans chapter 8, down to that bottom of, the, of this chapter, he said that we are more than conquerors. Amen. Are you our conquerors? Amen. Are you winners? Amen. You got to, you got to believe it, Amen. Because everything comes along from God when we believe. Amen. The Bible to them that believe, all things are possible. Amen. When any time comes along and you're uh, against your soul, instead of backing off, you you hit the enemy and hit collision and the news about it, you will prevail. You will never. Have a way of losing that situation because God is going to fight for you. Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes as a Christian, we wonder why. Why good people experience bad things. Even in my own life as a pastor. I have some experiences that... Without the Lord, I don't think I would be at this situation of my life. I've been criticized, I've been ostracized, you, you name it. Character assass assassination, you name the rest of what you can see about a person. I had experienced that. But my, uh, my, uh, my response to that, I said, Lord, could you just give me understanding to this? Because when you understand your situation, you have a good fighting chance, amen. Yes. If you are not understanding what is going on, boy, you'll be having a big time problem. That is why Dave, uh, I mean Solomon, at the start of this, kingly ministries during his time. In Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7, he, he advises or admonishes us in saying, in all of your getting, get understanding. Amen. Amen. I just say amen. Because if you understand what is going on, you know how to fight your battles, amen. 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 You know, sometimes husband and wife fight. Sometimes you got a problem with your co-workers. How do you deal with that situation? That is why Solomon said, in all of your getting, the things that you did in your life, get understanding. Amen. amen. That is wisdom. Yes. Because if you know and understand what is going on, you can use the right weapon. You can use the most excellent way of strategies of defeating your enemy. You will know that even the things are happening that is beyond your understanding. God will give you the right answer. Amen. 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 You 
You see, all of us, in some ways, our spirits are not the same. Amen. I don't know, as Pastor Witten was, was asking the group in our Sunday school, how do we, how did we, oh, I mean, uh, what is this way? Oh, uh, in what ways God saved you? How, how, how do you spill your, your salvation? Some of us has tremendous sustain about it. Some of us just like me, just open up my heart and that was it. But in the life of, of people like us, sometimes our enemies would put us on high. Remember Joseph? One of the most, I think, uh, exceptional individuals in the Bible. Was sold by his own brothers. Went to Putibar. And he was accused of immoral acts by the wife of, of Putibar. You know what happened? He was put in prison. In, in that prison. From prisoners to be the prince of Egypt. Sometimes our enemy, if you respond in the proper way, would elevate us. Amen. 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 Yes. Our enemies would put us in the pedestal. That you can almost see beyond this earth. Is it the song of D.B. Bone? Put me in the pedestal. I hope and I pray that my friends, if you're having a hard time, instead of, of leaning on the negative, bring forth from your spirit eyes the things that are from God. It, it will strengthen you. Amen. Yes, amen. Whenever I go to this church and see what is going on, instead of punishing my emotion, I am just looking to the Lord for His strength. Amen. 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 And for His joy. Yes. I cannot lean on the negative. If there is an enemy coming against me, I got to, the Bible says, I got to put all the armor of God in my life. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the, the good thing about it. I cannot lose. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> I cannot lose anything that is from, from God that would bless me <coughs> and strengthen me as, as believers. You know, last night I could hardly sleep. My neck was really having so much pain. I've been asking God to heal it and I think I'm go, 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 going okay. So our enemies in our soul, whatever it is, might be your husband, your wife. I know our greatest enemy is Satan, the devil. But in ordinary, ordinary living, it could be anybody else amongst us. But you see, you have to deal with it scripturally. He would always say, according to the scriptures, even Judas was called by Jesus Christ to be a friend. Being a betrayer. Because to him, to, to the Lord Jesus Christ, he's willing to do it. Not among the other eleven. It's one of your has, has the capacity of doing that job. But nobody was willing except Judas. Had he not committed suicide, he would be up there in heaven. Amen. Amen. You see, he was turning the situation into his favor. He was not looking into the situation as a curse or something that is totally unwelcome. Imagine he said to friend, why have you come? 
And you know, Peter was very impulsive, but what happened was, he just took off his sword and chopped the ears of one of the soldiers. You see how you respond? I mean, you don't have to respond like that. Amen. When somebody is against you, all you have to do is just, Lord, it's in your hand. Amen. Amen. You don't have to use your sword and chop the ears of your enemy. That's not the way. Amen. Amen. God's ways are better than our ways. Amen. Amen. As the heavens are higher up, of, uh, as high as I mean, it's higher than the earth. So are the ways of God. Amen. You will not have experience of regret when you are using the ways of the Lord. Amen. The ways of God are easy. You are not responsible to that. It's all about God, and you'll be amazed how God would elevate you. Even during the persecutions of Jew, Jewish people by the Pharaoh. Without the persecutions of this wicked king, we would not have a mighty nation by the name of Israel. Even the murderous acts of Moses was shown by God to be a vehicle for him to be a leader of the Israelites. So whatever is what has happened in your life right now, look at it as a blessing. Amen. Amen. Instead of complaining, you got to be just be praising God. Amen. Amen. And I love this song. I just came to praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. In everything in my in my life, I have to give thanks. The Bible says. Yes. Because this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning Amen. you. Amen. Amen. The lesson I would like, I'm bringing to you, my friends, that there is no way for you to lose any given situation. And you can read the book of Romans chapter 8, beginning from verse 28 to 39, and you'll be amazed. God will empower you. Amen. Amen. Man, I'm losing ground on my time. Even David, he was just a bread, a sheep herder. He was going to, to, to this place of battle, just bringing bread to his brothers. He was nobody. When he arrived to that place of the battle, and he was amazed that the Jewish people are so afraid against that big man by the name of Goliath. Had he not fight this giant man, he would not be elevated to the kingship. Amen. 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 You cannot be number one in your life as a Christian if you're just fighting number nine. You got to be fighting the number one. Amen. 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 Because the bigger your enemies, the bigger your name will be. Amen. Amen. You know Pacquiao? Oh, yes. Filipinos name Pacquiao. Okay. When he's fighting, will throw away. He's just a flyweight. And he's, he's fighting a, a big guy. And he keeps on winning. The bigger his opponent is, the, 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 the more his name is bigger around the world. So my friends, do not back down. Amen. 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 When any comes along, the Bible says, our weapons would prevail. Because our weapons are not carnal. Amen. Amen. They are spiritual. Yes. God is behind our life. Yes. He would not let us go down to the pit. God would elevate us. Amen. Amen. When nobody was like to fight Goliath, they would say, I'll fight this guy. I will fight that uncircumcised Philistines. How he just, oh, I just go back to my, to my ship and, you know, be sure that nobody is 
is harassing my ship or maybe the lions will like to eat one of my ship. I'll be there and look for it. But he said, I'll find the giant. You know what happened? He prevailed, amen. amen. Yes. And the, in, in the thing that I was really amazed, that is in Samuel, you would be amazed that David said, I will let your, your, your body to be eaten by, by the birds of the air. And he said to Goliath, you are coming against me with the sword. I will become against you with the God of Jacob, with the God of what? Abraham and Isaac. You see, when you are fighting, you are fighting your problems in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will be alright. Amen. Amen. Lesson number two. The enemy arising in your life is an announcement that the next stage of your future is almost about to be born. Amen. 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 Yes, amen. Just like going to, to school. The longer you go, the harder will be your lessons. Amen. 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 Man, you got to memorize this and that. You had a hard time, but you are closing in. Hallelujah. You're about to go through the trials of your education. Amen. Good things are, going to, are, are beginning to be born. Some of you could be a doctor. Some of you could be an agent or whatever you like. Excessively, there is no pain, no gain. Amen. Yes. <laughs> the harder you strive to your best to be educated in the university or whatever you go, you'll be assured that a new future is beginning to be born. Amen. Amen. Do not lose heart, the Bible says. Yes. Keep on expecting good things from God. Yes. You'll never lose that situation. Even being shipwrecked like that of Paul turned to be a blessing. He was used by, by the Hindus going to that island, small island of Malta. And there he was able to preach the gospel. My friends, that is why in the Bible says, all things work together for good. <laughs> to them that love God, do you love the Lord? Amen. Oh, do you love the Lord? Amen. I, I would like to have better than that. Amen. <laughs> you know, when you love somebody, you overcome any situations of your life. Amen. Amen. You've got to be reminded, by the way, my friends, that the greatest of them all, more than any weapons that you could imagine to know in your, in your brain and in your heart, it cannot prepare without love. Amen. Amen. Because love overcomes evil. Yes, amen. Oh my God, I am so grateful that the Lord gave me a lesson. That whenever hard things are happening to me, I just approach it in faith, oh my God. Who saved me? Amen. Who brought me out from the mighty clay? And put me in his kingdom. Amen. Is there anything greater than that? Man, to me, that is the most glorious, the most greatest experience of my life, that knowing that my name is in the kingdom. Amen. That is greater than my physical healing. That is greater than my financial blessing. Yes. That is greater than my marital joy. <laughs> because I know that my name is in the kingdom. Amen. That one day, all of us are expecting that when he returns. Man. I, I, I don't have any greater expectation to my life, but he's coming. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His coming is my hope. His coming is my, my reason of my living and my being. 
That is why before he comes, I obligated myself to occupy until he comes. Amen. I would never think otherwise when it is God's time. I am available. When it what God says, I'm willing to say it. When God says you have to go here, I got to go there. Amen. Amen. I'm willing to obey. Amen. Because the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. I know some of us, maybe most of us, has to do something in our home. Maybe it's important that what is going on here. But you see, the difference that in this, this is eternal, those are temporal. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <Yeah. laughs> Maybe some I have to wash the, my clothes, but it can wait. But you see, the Bible says, honor God during Sabbath day. This is our Sabbath. Yeah. When we honor God's day, boy, I tell you, the blessing has to come. Yes. You don't even think about it. God is going to unload His blessings upon your life. Amen. Amen. Your marriage is going to be well. Your finances will be okay. Amen. Your heart is pumping with joy. And your expectation is always higher. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what I know about my God. Yes. And I could say, along with Paul, that he was in the midst of trial. He said, in response to, to, to the accuser, I am not disobedient to my heavenly mission. I tried my best. I was fighting a good fight of faith. And at the end of that, he said, now, there is a crown that is waiting for me. Hallelujah. Not only for me, Hallelujah. but to you guys that are willing to do the same. Amen. Friends, persevere. Be patient. Always hoping that your life is going to be blessed of God every moment of the day. The good news about what, what the scriptures is telling us. <laughs> that he will not withhold any good thing from God to you. Amen? Amen. You know, sometimes we are embarrassed of what is going on. You know, I changed my car insurance thinking that you are going to save money. After one month, they adjusted my insurance, it even went higher than the previous one. Man, I was so embarrassed, but I cannot do anything. I said, just wait for three months, I'll quit your insurance. There was so much deception. But I look at it, not in, in a personal way. I would like, because this insurance, you say, Pastor, I, I, I'm willing to go to your church. Hopefully, she would come. <laughs> so I would respond to this in a godly way. Imagine, my issue went up to almost $500. But you see, I just look at it as a vehicle of a blessing. Maybe one day that insurance agent will be coming here. Because he promised. You see, we have that saying, if somebody give you a lemon, <laughs> make it to be a lemonade. It tastes good. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 When somebody give you something that is bitter, <laughs> when I was watching this guy by the name of uh, Simon, that bizarre food, I cannot do what he is doing. He would be eating some of this ridiculous food. He would not even, I would not even try to look at it and even taste it. Boy, even the worms. She was in the Philippines, he went to the Philippines, and this guy was, was able to find a, a log that was rotten. 
he tries to divide it, but immediately there was worms. He would remove the pulp inside the worms and dip it in the calamansi juice. <laughs> The Philippines and Adusima was, I said, this is good, you see? Seems to be ugly, slimy, dirty. He did it with the calamansi juice. And Adusima would. And he said, he said, how will he react to this? It's really amazing. Well, this is good. At the end of the, she said, when it is look good, eat it. <laughs> Friends, sometimes in your experience as a Christian, things are looking bad. Do you have any bad, bad experience in your life? Bad day or maybe the worst day, whatever. <laughs> How do you confront that? Maybe you just put some calamansi juice. <laughs> it is okay, man. Amen. I was watching this guy from South Africa, I mean, in Africa, they were butchering a cow and they were eating raw fat of a cow. I said, oh, I cannot do that. <laughs> Man, gross looking, but they said, it's good. It tastes fresh. You see, my friends, if you have like, experienced those things, he would never proclaim the goodness of that meat. Amen. Amen. You know, I could not eat balut, but my wife likes balut. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever we went to a store, he would, she would get this balut, the fully formed chicks inside that, that egg, and I would usually get this how do you call it? The little chick inside? Can we balut? Yeah, can. And would even remove that little chick. The first time I ate balut, I said, "This is good." Man, it tastes so good. But I still cannot eat that uh, fully developed <laughs> inside that balut. You see, my friend, you would never experience the goodness, the sweetness of God. Yes. Unless you experience some bad things in your life. You see, our slogan is just taste and see how the, how, how the Lord is good. Amen. Yes. Amen. In my life, I'm able to experience good things and bad things. Yes. You know, the, the, the good part of what if you've been reading the Bible, Paul said, I learned everything what is going on upon my life. I learned to be in one. I learned to be in abundance. Whatever I am in the, whatever state I am, I recognize that it is because of the will of God. My friends, whatever that is happening in your life, it will, okay, be, it, will, it will always be at the end of that. It's all right, amen. amen. It would elevate us. Yes. Maybe from shepherd to king. Even Samson had an unusual experience upon his life. He was blinded because of his stupidity. But at the end, and if, according to the book of Judges, he killed more Philistines than he, when he was alive. Are you not amazed about that? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So you turn yourself on the hands of the Lord and you'll be all right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we have learned, according to the scriptures, that we are more than conquerors. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Amen.